now we're going to do some stitching onto the base. Um, for this one I've done just lines. I don't know if you can see that on the video. I've just stitched some lines like that around the bottom. But on this one here I'm just going to do some crazy stitching lines. So I suggest that you draw your pattern onto your bottom so you know what you're going to stitch. For this one I'm just going to do some crazy stitching lines, just random pattern. Something like that. Maybe one more. And I'm just going to stitch over the top of those lines. I'll go right to the end. But you might just want to draw squares even or triangles or whatever you want to do just feel free to be creative and have fun <laughs> okay so I'm just going to use a stitch length of 3.1 and I'm just going to stitch roughly on my lines if I don't get them exactly right it doesn't really matter giving me a rough guide of where I'm going to stitch and as you can see I'm not really following those lines making my pattern very random of course there's nothing stopping you from being particular and making a very neat design As you can see, I completely changed my mind there. <laughs> and that's what my base looks like. And now we're going to add some feet. That'll be the next step. Okay, so now that I've done my stitching, I'm just going to get rid of these threads now we're going to want to install our bag feet that's what these are with the washers so to do that I'm going to draw a line 2 inches or 5 centimetres from each end, the short where the cutout is there, do the same on this side, 2 inches or 5 centimetres. I'm just going to draw another line an inch and a quarter in from the long that's in from the long edge and the same on this side and where those lines intersect 
that's where I'm going to install my bag feet so I need to punch some holes now okay so now we need to punch some holes where our lines intersect you might want to use one of these types of punches with a hammer if that's the case when I do that I like to use an old cutting mat and I like to go out on cement or pavers or something like that where it's a really firm surface a table is too bouncy and then just hammer to punch your hole but for this here inside I'm going to use my hole punch in my hand press Oops, wrong spot. Nearly put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> and over here. Like so. So now that we have our holes punched, we need to put some fray stopper on our fabric. This is a fray stopper pen. You might just have some in a bottle. Just like that. Now we'll pop our feet through. Flip it over. washers in place like that. Now you'll need to put something over those to protect your work. You can use scraps of interfacing or I like to use this tape. It's really sticky. Duct tape or any sort of thing like that. Or just iron some interfacing on there. But you need to be able to protect your work from wear, like your lining. You don't want that poking holes in your lining. <laughs> it's not a good look. Like that. And there we have our bag feet in place.